G'day, g'day everyone, and welcome back to another video. I don't really know how to start these intros off anymore, so I think I'm just going to get into the thick of things. We are in the car right now and about to go hit up a landlocked lake that has now been opened. It's been shut for a very long time and I've been hearing reports about some big brim being caught, so I'm about to drive there now and see if we can get onto them. But not just any brim, I'm going to be targeting black brim in specific. Now, the estuary systems we have around here have a nice mixture of both. We get yellow fin brim and black brim, but today we're going to focus just on the black brim. I also don't have a specific lure that I'm going to be chucking at them. I'm going to be throwing hard bodies, soft plastic, surface lures, just anything I can chuck at them to hopefully get a bite. Anyways, let's get on the road and let's go. I don't even know how to film these intros anymore, so I'm going to shut up. Here we go, made it to destination number one, underneath this little bridge. And like I was saying earlier, the main target today is I really want to try and get onto some black brim. This system's just reopened and there's lots of flowing water. And there's been uh, quite a number of big brim being caught lately. You're just going to have to excuse the noise that goes over, I'm obviously under a bridge. Yeah, there's been quite a few big brim being caught around here lately. so. I thought I'd come out here and try my luck. I'm gonna be starting things off with same grub I used in the last video. Just a little 2.5 inch bait junkie in the camo color, cut down to like a two inch, two inch plastic. 120th in weight jig head. So yeah, all I'm gonna be doing is targeting these pylons first up. And then I'm gonna be moving further down, targeting some fallen structure. And also I'll just be chucking out into the open, hoping for the best. See if there's any hanging off the pylons this morning though. I say this morning, but it's about 11.30. Oh, there we go. Already. Little flatty. <laughs> First cast, little flatty. Well, that's a good sign. I'm not gonna be able to try and, I'm not gonna be able to hold him like that. You're gonna have to relax, sunshine. I don't think he gets the memo. I'm not even going to try and touch this fish. He's just going to go crazy, so try and pop that hook out. He doesn't want to open his mouth. He's annoyed that I've just taken his meal. All right, okay. Slide you back down. Go on. He's off. Only annoying thing about Flatty is they usually fray your leader quite often. No, he hasn't even touched that up. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I've got a six pound leader on this today. These back ones. I've gone with this camo grub just to match that water clarity. We've recently had a lot of rain and the water's really dirty, so I've gone with a dirty colour to match the hatch. Hopefully that can get us a few bites. Hear those cicadas. That is a great sign. All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to get that bait junkie. Little grub off there, so I'm gonna probably have to snap that. There we go. That's annoying. We still got leader. 
Yes, we still got a leader. That's a positive out of that, I guess. I might quickly chuck around the surface lure. Might give the surface lure a go up here. I only recently brought this. It's a in feet diver slippery dog. And I've got this color in the Moby. This is the Moby color. Really nice rattle to it. Sounds just like a little prawn. With the prawns more and more on the move, hopefully this gets the job done. I'm probably fishing a little bit too deep to be using this, but I'll give it a go anyway. No takers on the little prawn either. All right, I guess I'll tie on another plastic. Give this a little, another little go and then keep on moving. There we go. Another little flatty. shouldn't even try and hold this fish up because I just brought it in and he's more than likely going to go skits but there we go very very micro little flatty oh I knew it I knew it once again don't even really want to try and pick this guy up so there you go no damage on that leader which is good very good pulled it down a bit Look at this angle I can get under there. Perfect spot. Right in the shade as well. Oh, there we go. That's another fish. Another flatty. Are you serious? That was like the same spot as the last. Is this the same fish three times? Oh, okay. We didn't need to wet the lens, mate. That was unnecessary. Look how fired up this little fella is. <laughs> Can I touch his head? Look at his spines. Mate, you need to calm down. A little bit angry this morning, eh? There he goes. That was the same spot. I just caught two fish in the exact same spot. Maybe there's a big female sitting there. I doubt it, but you never know. Right, as much as I love catching flathead, and I'll catch flathead all day, we are after the infamous black brim. So I'm gonna try this side of the bridge, give this a go. We did work here with the surface lure and no luck, but that doesn't surprise me because it's super deep here. So it, would, it would be a good three to four foot. So we'll give over here a go. Try not to get snagged this time. Big on. Big stick fish. All right, I'm gonna see if I can make a path going down to that fallen tree over there. Don't know how well you can see that, but see if I can make my own path, fish that, and then move further down. I think majority of the black brim are gonna be towards the front of the system since this place has only just opened up. It's been closed for a very long time, but the water was reaching some of the houses, so the council had to open it up. I think that's where the majority of the broom are going to be. You know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to bush bash through that. Let's just hop back in the car and drive down a little bit further. Let's see if we can get onto them down there. Got a couple of nice little flatty around the bridge. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've said it a thousand times. We've got one target in mind. Let's go chase it. is happening over there one two three four five six eight boats 
Look at all the people on the jetty. <laughs> Knock, knock, anyone home? What on earth is that joint? Seems sketchy. I'll leave it alone. All right, well, I'm gonna keep things pretty short and sweet for you all. I have been flicking around that Daiwa Bait Junkie grub for easy one and a half to two hours with no luck on it. So I decided to move to this other spot and I've gone with a different curl tail option. And I've got that little Hurricane Sprat. I think this is the 80 or 85. Sprat hybrid, I think they're called. And uh, we're gonna be targeting black broom at the front of the system now. So hopefully the brim have pushed to the front and we'll be able to get onto them. I don't know, I don't really have any plans after this. This is pretty much the last hope. But uh, yeah, the water's just there. Let's see if we can get amongst them. Now I've never fished from this side and I'm hoping to walk out in the water a little bit. But I don't know how soggy it's gonna be. water is super warm okay this might get pretty bad pretty quick plus that wind is blowing its ass off might go up a little bit more I'll go up over here it looks a lot shallower damn I was hoping to fish along that edge okay hopefully it's not as sinky right here I mean, I'm still going to struggle either way. Oh, plenty of mullet up here. I'm going to struggle either way because that wind's blowing in my face. There's nothing I can do about it. This is where a big flatty would sit. Perfect ground for a big flatty. Come on, Sprat. You're my last hope. I mean, I could always go to a minnow, but I use a lot of minnows. I want to try and mix things up and get used to fishing with curl tails. There's so much weed on the bottom as well. Weed on the bottom, weed on the top. What do you do? Well, nothing here either. Really doesn't surprise me to be honest. Today is uh, just not one of those days, I guess. Location change number 152. Uh, literally just changed so many spots. Nothing's really working today. Put a good three and a half, four hours in, which isn't a lot for what I usually do, but it's really, really hot today like scaldering hot so I'm running out of energy I'm gonna try this last spot for some whiting and then now yeah, I'm done <laughs> bloody done see what it looks like there's a little bit of wind up but a little bit of wind's pretty good when you're fishing surface for whiting oh wow this uh water's dropped if <laughs> there is that other bloke over there there was another guy's car here when I pulled up he's having a fish as well straight to the slippery dog wow look how low that is and it stays this depth for so long I could just keep on going out and out We got one. Wow, I was not even expecting that. It's only a little fella. Got him hooked in the back. But that is a whiting. Off the top. And you know what? I didn't bring my pliers out here. So uh, <laughs> trying to get this fella off is going to be interesting. It just goes to show. Right, look at the size of the lure. And look at the whiting. There you go, mate. Crazy, crazy things. I can't wait till this top water fishing's in full swing. It's gonna be so fun. Let's see if we can get another one back to back. Oh, yep, there we go. You're kidding me. That's a better one as well. 
Look how far we are from shore. That's like 120, 130 meters. And this is where the whiting are. That was in the exact same spot as the last. This one is a much better fish. Oh no, he's not even fouled. It's a good one. Look at that. It's gonna be pretty hard to show you because he's gonna go crazy, but there we go. That's actually a nice one. That would be like 34, 35 centimeters. That's a cracker fish. See you, mate. He's a bit tired. Oh. He is gonna swim off. He's just a bit tired. I'll have a go with the wind. Cast a mile. Oh, there's heaps where I just casted. Just spooked heaps of them. Yep. There we go. Are you kidding me? The warding are on this afternoon. That's a much better one. Mate, that is a cracker. That's a proper sized one right there. That is a proper sized whiting. There we go. Another one. And that one is a lot bigger than the other ones. All right, we'll get you back. We'll get you back. There seem to be a lot of you about, so. The way that I'm retrieving this as well, it's called the walk the dog style. So I'm synchronizing the twitch with the wind of my reel. And it makes that lure wake across the surface like this, like a fling prawn. And the whiting love it. It is only early season for whiting. But there seem to be a fair bit about the Savo. Does seem to be quite a lot out. There's one in close, I just watched him boil up. Ready, I'm going to get smoked right here. Yep, on cue. That's a good one. Right on cue. Is that a whitey? Has to be, right? Oh, he's got some pepper in him. Yep, would you believe this bloke? He's gonna come straight out to where I am. Oh, he doesn't even have a rod in his hand, never mind. We're just doing upgrade after upgrade. That's the biggest one. That's the biggest one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to go to shore and get a close-up for you. And I'm actually going to keep a couple because I think my mum would like some for a feed. So that's another one. That Daiwa In Feet Slippery Dog. 80 mil, I'm pretty sure it is, in the Moby colour. Those little assist hooks doing the work. Morning, got a couple. Oh, they just turned on all of a sudden. Yeah, I've, okay. I've, been, I've been fishing all day for brim and stuff. Yeah. And I've fished this flat for ages. So I thought I'd come give it a go before I head off home. This is the sixth or fifth one. Okay, it's fifth one. <laughs> They're just going crazy on this little lure. Well, there we go. Look at that fish right there. Mate, we have struggled today on the old brim. We come out here with the intentions of trying to get onto some big black brim, but uh, that, that did not go to plan. And when all else fails, I decided to come to this spot to see if the whiting were on that early season top water bite. And well, they definitely are. Smoking that little Daiwa Slippery Dog. That is a nice fish right there. And unfortunately for this fella, he's coming home for a feed. You're welcome, mum, you're welcome. Also, sorry for um, not being able to get a whole lot of close-ups or like top water strikes. I'd love to be able to film the top water hits, but as you've just seen, it is a big, big walk to get back out to that flat right there. Easy 130 to 150 meters. And uh, that's gonna be a lot of effort to walk back and forth, back and forth after every fish. So there we go. One last look at it. Beautiful stuff. So stoked, so rewarding. Got me pliers this time. Here's our little whiting fella. Just put him next to the bag. Should be right. Let's get back out there. It's 
straight away. Straight away. Oh, got off at my feet. Well, that's convenient for me. Did the hard work for me. Can we go straight back out and straight back into them? That is the question. Oh, something just hit right there. Right there. Oh, oh, yes. Smoked it. Oh, this is just such good fun. Choking me, man, there's just so many of them. Oh, that is a cracker. Oh, wow, that is huge. <laughs> that thing is massive. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That thing is huge. Oh, that's got to be around the 38, 39 centimetre mark. Please don't go crazy. Oh, look at that thing. That is a cracker. That little slippery dog, man, it's just getting it done. They're just going crazy for it. Absolutely crazy for it. If I can recommend one thing to anyone who's watching this, do not buy Jarvis Walker pliers. They are shocking. Didn't want to buy these, but I had to because I left my other ones in the bush somewhere. There we go. Are you even going to swim off? Bloody pliers made it so much more difficult to get that thing out. Oh, he's good. A little bit confused. He's a little bit lost. Give him a little push. There he goes. There he goes. Another one. Beel, beel, beel. Another one bites the dust. I don't recommend getting it out like this. I do not recommend getting it out like this. Okay, there we go. Another whiting. Another one. That's about the same size as that last big one. He swam off strong. Just got to make it go skits. Super skits. Yep, there's a hit. Slow it down a bit. Speed it up a bit. Yep, yep. On the speed up. Another one. There we go. I think what I'm going to do is I could stay out here and catch whiting all day. Like there's just no shortage of them, but I think I'm going to get one last big one, take it to shore and keep it for a feed. See so, yep, and uh, hit these whiting another day. Because I'm already pretty exhausted from fishing the whole day in the hot heat. Yeah, I'm getting pretty tired, pretty hungry. Haven't eaten since seven in the morning and I've just made an absolute mess. What on earth? Do one facing into the wind. Oh, right there. Still on it. Yep. At the feet. Tell you what, these little assist hooks, if it wasn't for them, there's no way I'd be landing this many. There's no way. Absolute game changer. From an appalling day on the brim to an absolutely insane one on the whiting. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Um, I might put this guy out of his misery. I'm going to try and keep one more after him. Just one more. I think that'll be perfect for a feed. Oh, that's a good one. That's a proper one.
couldn't even adjust my camera. Nice. Oh no, he's not in sight. Just like the last. Just like the last. Just perfect eating size whiting though. Absolutely perfect. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep him on the hook and just walk to shore with it. For the people that are always commenting on my videos, why do you never take fish? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. For me, fishing, I do fishing for the sport of it, not necessarily for the food factor of it. It's always nice to keep a feed here and there, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, this is not necessarily for me, but I know my mother likes whiting, so that's why I'm bringing these ones home. But yeah, for me, it's just about the fight getting that fish in, seeing the size of it, and then letting it go to fight another day. I don't know, I just find that very rewarding. And uh, yeah, that's just what I prefer when it comes to fishing. Catch and release. Let them go, let them grow. Words cannot describe how much fun I just had fishing that flat with that little surface lure. There was just whiting galore out there. There was absolutely no shortage of them. Almost every cast I at least got a hit or a fish. And uh, yeah, decided to keep three for a feed. More than a feed is more than you need, so I think three is absolutely perfect for our family. Like I was saying a little bit earlier, I am a catch and release fisherman, but there is nothing wrong with taking a feed here and there. Well, that's a beautiful specimen. Mate, this just gets me so hyped coming into the season. Like, There's just going to be so much more of this to come. So keen. So, so keen. Well, there's only one thing to do, and that is uh, make our way back to the car and head off home. Got our three easy legal whiting right there. Easy legal. Thank you, little lake. You, uh, you hold some nice fish, and I will be back. I will be indeed back.